A former Jacksonville University football player is suing J.U. He says he suffered a number of concussions and now has long-term brain damage. Now, the lawsuit accuses the athletic training staff of misconduct and negligence. Nikki's joining us now from J.U. with what the school and the player's attorney are saying. Nikki, good morning. Good morning. Well, Jenna Bruce, the attorneys representing this former JU player say they didn't take the case because concussions have been in the news a lot lately. They took the case because they firmly believe that JU and the university and the trainers were negligent in their treating of the client. This happened in 2012 during the spring football season. Jarius Lindsay was participating in a team scrimmage and was injured by a teammate. His attorney says that's when he received his first concussion, one that led to multiple other concussions and eventually brain damage. The lawsuit alleges JU and its sports medicine program were negligent in how they treated the concussion. They just failed to evaluate him properly and I think allowed him to return to play without thoroughly uh, making sure that he was symptomatic free. Um, he subsequently, after that, when he returned to play, he suffered, you know, other concussions. The lawsuit alleges that JU incorrectly administered Lindsay's concussion checklist to assess his mental status during what's called the acute period after a concussion. It adds the head athletic trainer never recommended that Lindsay see a neurologist or a neuropsychologist. Okay, this is a student athlete, young man out on the football field, and they have they have a duty to properly evaluate him once he sustained concussion. They have a duty to go through the appropriate protocol before they make a return to play decision with him. Jacksonville University tells News for Jax it can't comment because it's the school's policy when it comes to pending litigation. But Gene Nichols, a local attorney not affiliated with this case, tells us this will all come down to a jury. I mean, JU is going to defend themselves with probably expert testimony to say, this is what we're supposed to do in every situation, and it was followed to a T. When that happens, then you can expect the plaintiff's side to argue that the steps were not followed. And if that's the case, if both sides are saying we either did or didn't, then it's going to make it to a jury and it'll be a question of fact. The suit doesn't say how much money that they are seeking specifically, only that it's a multi-million dollar lawsuit. Now, the Lindsay's other attorney is Willie Gary. Gary is a high-profile Orlando attorney who has been involved in many high-publicized cases over the years. We're live at Jacksonville University, Nikki Kimbleton, Channel 4, the local station.